Hello, this video shows you how to work optimally with the pro version of the JSON Content Importer. First, I'll show you what's important in the admin area and then explain the two methods the plugin offers to load and process data like JSON or XML. First, let's check if the WordPress installation meets the requirements for the GCI plugin. This can be found under the check install tab. If there uh, is anything, everything green, your WordPress is ready to use GCI. If not, uh, please check if, for example, your hosting can be improved. This uh, is especially true for allow your F open. If this is turned off, your WordPress is not allowed to access external data. Also very important, especially for those who have been using GCI Pro for a long time, is the deprecation status. Starting from version 3.8, old Twig parsers have been removed. If Twig versions prior to version 3 are set in shortcodes or in GCI templates, the latest Twig version in the plugin will now be used in most cases there's no need for any action, but since a few details in Twig have been changed over the years, it's essential to check whether the pages still function as before. The GCI Pro plugin offers two methods to fetch and process data. There's uh, way one, the simplest possible way, where you can assemble a lot by clicking and hardly have to work in code, and way two, where you have maximum flexibility and uh, you can program as you like. More on that later. Uh, I have two recommendations in the basic settings. Uh, for reasons of backward compatibility, two particular settings uh, are not turned on by default. Um, firstly, the Twig template uh, editor. They are the pure text editor and the ACE editor. I highly recommend trying out the ACE editor. It provides a much clearer view of your Twig code. And uh, second thing, if you have any unnecessary line breaks in the display, um, unfortunately WordPress adds uh, these using uh, VP Auto P. You can um, edit this uh, down here with unwanted line feeds, VP Auto P and remove this. So this might help if you have any unneeded uh, line feeds. There are some more tabs. Uh, one is cache. Uh, there you can set up the cacher of the JCI uh, plugin. So you can avoid uh, unwanted requests on an API by storing the data locally. Uh, the other tab is custom post types where you can define custom post types and uh, can uh, uh, click on a fast delete of custom post pages you created with uh, the plugin uh, and with JSON. And uh, to use it, uh, there's a support uh, area with links to two websites. One is doc, the other API, jsoncontentimporter.com with the manual and many examples. So check out these websites for getting familiar with the plugin. If you find any vulnerabilities in the plugin, let me know there's a bug bounty program. If you need uh, to load some uh, JavaScript or other uh, libraries here, I have uh, some libraries included in the plugin. And uh, last but not least, if you want to install the plugin, you can uh, click this to delete all. Okay, now let's move uh, on to the practical part. Uh, we'll try way one to get the data on the website with just a few clicks. Uh, step one is uh, get the JSON. The GCI uh, Pro plugin includes a test URL, this one here, uh, that provides us with some um, JSON. With this form here, uh, we can construct a request to an API uh, quite similar to how it's done, for example, at postman.com. We can set options like the request method, like get, post, or put. Uh, we can um, 
uh, set the format of the expected data. It's JSON, XML, or CSV text with uh, CSV parameters, uh, depending on uh, what the API expects from us. Some APIs use OAuth2 authentication. For this, you first need to obtain a token and then use it in the actual request. For example, here you need a bearer and a token, and the token is delivered by a JSON Content Importer Pro uh, shortcode, uh, which um, uh, calls the API for this token. This is way two we discuss later. Uh, in this construction, uh, the uh, JCI shortcode is executed when this request is done. This way uh, uh, gives you the opportunity to implement various often different methods of authentication. A click on test request uh, queries the API and displays the response. Uh, JSON data is represented as a data tree. Here we can see what data we got from the API. If uh, no data appears here or an error message, uh, the API hasn't received what it's expecting. Uh, this means you might need to add or just something in the fields above. We have received JSON here, this one. We can show the JSON. And uh, now we give uh, this JSON access set a name and store it. We call it exam pull one and store it now we utilize this access set in a use set. To do this, I click on step two of way one and select this um, access set. So uh, the JSON is displayed again. Here I select some data from the JSON, for example, these items. And by clicking here, I can create tweak code with the selected JSON. By clicking here, I merge this JSON with this twig code and uh, here the result of this merging is displayed. The data from the JSON um, merged with the twig code. And now I can also save this um, use set, for example, here use example one. To publish this, we go to a WordPress post and add the JCI pro block. This pro block is named select a JSON use set. This block presents us with the available use sets here, the use example one, and displays immediately the twig and the merged twig and the JSON. Here you can make various settings that uh, cache time in minutes here. You can uh, uh, choose whether to display the JSON or not. You can display some debug info to see what's happening in the background. And um, most importantly, you can modify the twig code. For example, if you capitalize start, you see this immediately, you see the effect. If you add some code and encounter an error, don't get nervous. For example, if I add here a double curly break. This twig um, syntax is invalid, but if I complete this twig syntax, everything is okay. Now let's have a look how this looks like in uh, the published area and preview it in new tab. So here we go. Here, this is way one to display JSON with a generated twig code. Way 2 aims to achieve the exact same goal as Way 1, just in a slightly different manner. The GCI Pro plugin includes a sample with uh, which we can experiment here. Um, for safety, we'll copy the template and examine the copy. This uh, GCI template shows you the Twig template code. In this example, we have the function uh, wp get page properties, which retrieves the properties of the page where this uh, Twig code and the JCI Pro plugin is used later and show them data. This is uh, the ACE editor, by the way. 
Besides the Twig template, in the GCI template you can define several other things. The name of the template, whether to switch on to the debug mode or not, the URL of the template, the URL of the API, and uh, the method for the request get post put in different ways and the cache time, the timeout, and the template engine, the Twig parser. In previous versions, we had here older Twig uh, versions. They are removed as of version 3.8. I skipped two fields as they require a bit more explanation. There's uh, the your parameter field. In this field, you enter the names of get parameters that you want to pass to the plugin and consequently to the API through the page call. For testing, I'll enter here test1 and test2 separated by a hash. The second skipped field is uh, the uh, curl options field. In uh, this uh, field, you can uh, provide for the request to the AP additional information. It's the same as the um, form from way one, just manually assembled and programmable. A programmable means that you can also insert twig code here, uh, for example, to pass the current time, which some APIs occasionally require. Here you find the short code for this GCI template. We copy paste that into a ordinary WordPress post. Here we go. Now we alter the GCI template by using the URL parameter. We take test one and test two and insert some twig code up there. It's done like this. It's URL param dot test one and copy paste that with two and add Type E to prevent from misuse the user input and store that template. I published the page with the shortcode to this URL. Uh, this is the uh, changed uh, GCI template with test one and test two. And if I alter the URL two and add test one with is AA and test two is BB, though AA and BB, the input from the get is displayed here. And you can uh, use this input from here, this get input in the uh, uh, Twig template to calculate, to uh, do whatever you want to do with this information. At uh, docjsoncontentimporter.com, you will find many other options. Uh, these are the short code parameters you can use for many things. A very special thing is uh, the extensions for Twig. There's lots of them. They're for sorting, for connecting databases, for manipulating data, uh, executing short codes to get uh, API requests inside an API request and lots more, or loading media files like images URLs in the JSON to images can be loaded into the WordPress library and many more things are there with the uh, Twig extension possible. You can use the GCI Pro plugin together with other plugins like Table Sorter, Elementor, Contact Form and so on and you can build real applications. Uh, one example is uh, faceted search. Faceted search means there's JSON with data from uh, locations and flights, etc. And now the challenge is to select uh, data and display the data you want to know. For example, sorting the price from low to high can be changed here by clicking or selecting only one location or two location. So this is all done with the GCI Pro plugin, requesting JSON, selecting data, displaying data. 
Thank you for watching this brief introduction to the GCI Pro plugin. Uh, I really appreciate hearing your thoughts on it. Thank you very much. Bernhard from Munich, Germany.